G Squad, what's happening with your baby tall guy back with another video, man. As you can see, I am in a airport right now. I am in Nashville, Tennessee, man. It's been a while since I've been here. I think this might actually be the first time I actually flew into Tennessee. For those who are real G Squad, y'all know I used to live in Memphis, Tennessee, man. But got a lot of stuff that's happening throughout this video. So make sure y'all stay tuned throughout this whole joint. And don't skip none of the mass video. I'll see y'all in one minute. All right, G-Squad, so the moment we all been waiting for, why am I in Nashville, Tennessee? Well, plain and simple, this guy right here. Go ahead and talk to him, Chad. What's going on? What's going on? Name what? is James Shaw. We about to head to Hillwood High School. We about to go talk yep. to some kids. Um, going to try to further them in their future, try to make things better. He's really down here because not only am I uh, a decent a decent guy, he's down here because I like cars, too. So Yeah, big cars. Right now, we're in the... 2012 Mustang Ford Mustang GT California Special. Um, and it's crazy because he's actually been watching my videos for a long time. And if you don't know who this man is, this man saved a lot of people's lives, including his own, uh, at the Waffle House a long time ago, about a year ago, about just about right. Yeah, about about to come up on a year. So legendary dude, man. That's for damn sure. And he likes cars and he's all in the mix, man. So, you know, I just wanted to introduce y'all to him, man. More, than, more importantly, more than anything, I wanted to get a story out there for y'all to get y'all full understanding. At moments when it's fight or flight, and we was talking about this yesterday, right? Right. And soon I'm coming out with my YouTube channel, too. So. Yeah, 100%. One day. Well, one give day him the name. What's the close. name going to be? I, I don't know what the name is going to be. I don't know. That what should be your name. James Shaw. James Shaw. Well, that's a legendary name. That's like some James Bond type shit. Mm -hmm. James Shaw? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shaw, Shaw James. Uh, Shaw James. James Shaw. We're gonna see what we're you know what I'm saying? You gotta do it. What you gonna do on your channel though? Uh it's gonna be about it's gonna be it's gonna have some car content. It's gonna have a lot of mental health and public health. I'm gonna take people into therapy with me because I want people to go get go get checked out. I don't know if y'all can hear me over that exhaust. But uh <laughs> mm -hmm. If they can hear me talking with the hell Keezy, okay. they definitely gonna be able to hear you with this one. <laughs> Even though this was legendary, Chip, no roast. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? I don't think yeah. we good. Well, no, I'm gonna try to touch all points just to just to show a real a well-rounded person, and you know, just try to show something I think of substance, and I think that's what you're doing too, not 100%. just car stuff. So yeah, legendary dude, man. I, I like everything he's doing. I like what he represents. I like the message that he puts out to the world, man. So um, even. If he don't have his YouTube channel right now, which he does it, when he does, I'm gonna come back to this video, and in the description will be the link to his YouTube channel, man. I want everybody to go ahead and uh, give him a subscription. Follow me on Instagram. For sure, I was just about to say that. I took the words <laughs> right out my mouth. Follow him on Instagram. Tell me your Instagram, bro. Uh, J underscore Shaw Nine. Uh, Twitter is James Shaw Junior Nine. Facebook is James Shaw Junior. Um, don't you wish you would have just had all of them the same name when you started? I wish I could. But you had no idea you were gonna like pop, right? At all. See what I'm saying? That's, That's how tell, I felt too. Please tell people this was not. This is not what I thought was gonna happen. I, if I was gonna become famous, I thought I would, thought it was gonna be for basketball, <laughs> not for uh, somebody coming in a Waffle House and trying to trying to kill everybody and me having to having to fight with the blessings of God and with a shot on. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. So. It's just savage now. You know, he's motherfucker. <laughs> Any motherfucker who fight a motherfucker with a bullet in their goddamn arm, don't fuck with that nigga, man. That nigga is a psychopath. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's crazy. He gave it think he was a psychopath. He ran into a psychopath. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you got to understand what, what kind of brain you have to have in them kind of moments. And uh, shout out to my dog, Ben Story Gang, because I said this to him, too. You find out a lot about yourself, man, uh, in those moments if you're a fight person or you're a flight person. A lot of times, I feel like a lot of people would like to say that they're fight, but you know what I mean? In those moments, man, there's a lot of people who will fuck around and get popped or shot before they actually fight because what happens in those moments, if you've never been shot at or you've never been in like a super situation like that, which I've never been in a situation like that, but I grew up in the hood, so let's get a full understanding. Um, shootings is regular. For me, it was. I related to like uh, the fourth quarter, down one point, I got the ball in my hand, clock's ticking down, five seconds to go. There's only one thing I can do. I got to win the game, or I got to lose the game. Same thing in that same position. Mm -hmm. I was either going to live, or I was going to die. You hear the narration about this? I heard that voice. Do it, do it now. Just do it. Ran out the door as fast as I could.
show, which was motherfucking legendary. <laughs> Boy, let's say, Ellen, hey, man, you got, got to wait for my time now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ellen show, Van Jones show, Steve Harvey show. You got to meet J. Cole. J. Cole. Uh, uh, who else was it? J. Cole, Dwayne Wade, T.I., Trey the Truth. Um, my it, man, uh, ah, you man, Neptune, people. Neptune, uh, Neptune's, what's his name? Uh, for real? For real? For real, oh, for real tweeted great. about me. He's a living legend. I've had a bunch of people. Dre tweeted about me. I was going to oh, shoot wow. my shot, but I didn't shoot my shot. Should have shot that shot, Jim. I was a little nervous. My bag ain't, ain't nowhere there. Hey, brother. Hey, you a hero, brother. You a hero. <laughs> you don't need to have no bag. You know what I'm saying? You a hero. She going to give you that off the straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dre. Uh, man, I met Paul George. Oh, yeah. I just seen that. Yeah, oh, yeah, Morgan Martin. I done met. Bunch of people. I Make was sure so, y'all give my man a follow on Instagram. I was so know. nervous getting a picture with Westbrook. I shook his hand and I, I was nervous to be like, can I get a picture? But I shook his hand and stuff, but I'm still trying to get a picture with Brody. Westbrook, if you're uh, watching, I know you might be watching. He like cars, don't he? Yeah. yeah. Like, he might be yeah, watching. Shut awesome. I don't know, but if he is, go ahead and get my man some picture, man. Man, I was, I was nervous to ask him. You was out there for the NBA All Star Weekend. You actually played in that, right? Yeah, I played in the All Star game. So if this dude, you got to be a pure legend <laughs> to be at the NBA All Star Celebrity and, and play. And he got buckets too, didn't you? Yeah, I scored. I scored about ten eight. I, unfortunately, I couldn't Just get like off. like double double. I, I, I couldn't get off. I couldn't get off like I wanted to. But you know, it was all for the fun. You know. Yeah. Glad I, glad I can't look. Tell Famous Los. You know, I did a video with Famous Lowe's. Did you? Yep. Yeah. And B-Dot. Yeah, see I, see, I see B-Dot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I did one Famous Lowe's. I got pulled over my Hellcat with Famous Lowe's in the whip. <laughs> funny ass video, man. It was Lose, crazy. Lowe's Lose, super funny. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to come out to L.A. And, uh, and kick it. Yeah, we're super kick it. Yeah, sure. we got to. You know, I just got that spot in L.A. Yeah, right across the street from the state. You did right. Mandatory, right? Come on, man. You legend crazy. meets legend. You're crazy for you're, that. You're, oh, yeah. Come on, brother. You're crazy for that. It's all on the line. You text me talking about something for the low. That ain't for the low right across the street, okay? Well, we all got things we spend money on, brother. I'm just a cheap bastard, but not when it comes to my cars and my living. Okay. I'm cheap with everything else. But for how I live my life and my cars, I got to, I got to live it, brother. You only get one life to live, man. You got to live that thing accordingly, man. But this dude right here, legendary dude, make sure I give him a follow on the Instagram, man. I really want to come out here more than anything, even though he like cars, I like cars, all that. We're life people, you know what I'm saying? And what he's done in life and saving those people's lives, man, and, and shout out to the four families, to the four victims, man, because I don't think a lot of people understand the magnitude of that whole situation. I mean, nobody really can like how he does or the four families that lost somebody in there or the other people that probably could have potentially lost their lives that night if it wasn't for this man right here. So to all them people, uh, shout out to y'all and uh, rest in peace to the people, to, to the four that, you know, ain't on this earth no more, man. Uh, you know, um, hopefully God accepted them with open arms. But um, he's just a legendary dude, man. I just think for him to have done that and just respond in the way in which he did and conduct himself under the light in which he has since the whole situation happened. I just like, I was like, man, I gotta fly out here. I didn't even, I was being cheap with the flights now, I tell him. Wow. I was like, shit, <laughs> hey, I was texting him, I said, man, you know, flight's taxing, bro, you know, I just got this spot in LA type, you know? Nashville look expensive. I said, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I'm gonna come up there to Minnesota too. I might drive, uh, I, don't, I ain't gonna say what what I might drive up there, need four wheel drive. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got, oh yeah, he got a legendary whip. Shout out to my dog, Greg Jennings, man. Go subscribe <laughs> to his YouTube channel. That's the only hit, hit I'm gonna give y'all, man. But go ahead and uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel, man. Uh, he got his YouTube channel coming soon, but Greg got his. And like I said, it's the only hit I'm getting. If you can piece it up, one plus one is two, you'll be able to figure it out. But he got a new whip, and it's legendary as fuck. Tell him, just tell him a little taste. Don't tell him about the, the car. It's four wheel drive. There you go. That's what we're going to get y'all, man. It's a 5.0. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Uh, you should be able to find out what it is from that. I well, bet you. It's kind of hard. Well, Greg, the, the Greg. The I Greg, bet you Greg already, because yeah. you know Greg watch every video. So I know Greg is like, oh, I know what he got. No yeah. question. Yeah. But everybody else, I don't know. Y'all going to be able to piece Greg, it together. I'm going to get my, I'm gonna get my eyes pieced together here in a little while. Mine's is in a little rough stage, but don't worry. I'm coming. Yeah. Greg, Shaq. Then Shaq got a, a Bronco, too. Oh, brother. Oh, that. What you doing? Oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
don't matter. He's gonna, 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 he gonna cut that out. It don't no, we keep that in. We don't, <laughs> we don't edit that much right here. We only edit out dry spots. Okay. But they might not have caught it. Because you know, some people just be watching just a little bit of the video. They right. about 10 minutes into the video. They ain't really, you know, some people be leaving out the video before that. You yeah, know what okay. So you okay. can, you know, for the people that heard it, they heard it, they got it there first. skipping through it. Some people be skipping through it, chop, chop, suey in it. You right. know what I'm saying? But it's okay, you know, for the real G squad. Y'all heard it there first. You're still here, you're still watching. But anything right. else you want to tell them, no brother? Man. Tell them what we about to do right now, where we had to go. We're about to uh, head to Hillwood High School. We're about to talk to some uh, some young men that haven't been making the greatest decisions right now in high school. But we're just going to try to steer them on the right path. I'm glad Corey was down here and I could coordinate something um, that's in his realm because uh, Corey's had a past. From that past, and he's a voice that they'll listen to more than me because I've never been arrested. Uh, I've had homeboys that's been arrested. That's a blessing. Though, been, arrested. been arrested, and I don't know why people I, think that should be cool. I actually come from in the United States. The three seven two zero eight area code is the most arrested area code for African American men, wow. which is crazy. So when I say I'm not really from the hood, statistics and other things will prove different. So uh, we headed to Hillwood High School, try to talk to these kids, try to lend them an ear, try to lend them a, a helping hand and tell them the high school is really your last chance of being baby. After high school, you look at as a grown man. In high school, you look at as a grown man. Oh, if you Corey Height, or you, even if you my height, I'm 6'2". Or even if you this skin color right here, or his skin color, you know what I'm saying? Us yeah. light skin people, we get a little bit more leeway. I feel like right. sometimes, cause you know we got a little little dilution up in there. You know right. what I mean? But you know, just black people in general, man. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but this it's a sensitive topic for me, man. Because if you look at the statistics with African African Americans, with not just young people, old people, just African Americans in general, man, the system is kind of rigged for us to fail, man. And it's just it's so fucked up, man. The recidivism, the recidivism rate, if you've ever been in trouble is astronomically high. So let's just be real here, man. But go ahead, brother, my bad. That shit, yeah. for me, I mean, I go on and on about that shit. Yeah, we're gonna, um, we're gonna eat lunch with them a little bit. We're gonna, you know, talk about the path that they own. Hopefully Cora kind of shed what 100%. he went through and tell them that this is not what you want to do. 24, 23 hours in a, in a, in a eight by 10. Uh, yep. Concrete box. I think, mine, I think mine's might have been smaller than the whole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a concrete box with another man. Yeah. That's not what you want to do for. You probably don't want to do that for a week. I know you don't want to do yeah, that for some a year. Of, yeah, some of them men gotta be kind of suspect. So you <laughs> know what I mean. But, but watch your silly is. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. And stuff me and Corey talked about last night. This. Yeah. One hundred percent. I wouldn't want to be in that position with a, with another man in, in a room and have to fight for whatever I have to fight for, so. Whether it's respect, whether right. it's your dead man, whatever the case may be. I won't fight no fight more, or fight. Yeah, I won't fight no more, period. Yeah, facts. I want all good good vibes. 100%. We disagree, let me go on this way, brother. You got let it. Let me just walk away, man. Please, just please don't play with me. We don't even gotta go to no kind of level please at all. You know what I'm saying? Because my brain halfway ain't there sometimes. <laughs> so please, like, uh, yeah. just leave me alone, man. I don't want no problems with nobody. Just, I'm just a pussy. I don't want no problems. Let me just live my life, man. Because yeah. I done made it out of that. Let me just go ahead and keep skyrocketing, man. God willing, you know? But uh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna talk to these kids, man. And inspire and motivate these kids and hopefully uh, spark that fire under their ass to change their lives, man. Because, you know, sometimes, man, and it's so unfortunate, man, but sometimes it takes extreme circumstances to get extreme points across, man. Right. And uh, mine's was prison. And anytime I can help somebody avoid prison, man, uh, by any cost, you know, um, I'm always willing to help, man. So we're going to go here. We're going to talk to these kids. Might get a little bit of that shit on film, too. Got to get a show a little of the G Squad that huh? That's cool. We can, we can, uh, we can do that orchestrate that. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure, sure the kids want to be on there, I'm too. I'm sure the kids want to because that's one of the main thing kids like is. You too. If they think you got a lot of followers, if they think you got a blue check or something like that, kids kind of grab Because that's their life. Them. They grew up. This is everything to them. Social media. They think social media is like real life. Like it's life. This shit's not life. Like yeah. real life, man. Come yeah, on, man. For me, it's just social media. I can have more followers I want to if I just want to put random skits and stuff out there. Yeah. It's not, that's just not me. Not knocking nobody that does it. Facts. Just, it's just not me. It's yeah. not, that's not me. You know what I tell people all the time about social media? If social media is 
the highlights of people's life. Like even my YouTube videos, I, what I put on there, I think sometimes people forget that I edit my own videos, I do everything. So there's not a video up with anything in the video that I don't want to be in the video. You see what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times people get that loss in their brain because I'm, I show you what I want to show y'all, nothing right. more and nothing less. Right. You think I'm going to put on there, like I, I keep it real with y'all, nobody puts their dirty laundry on social media. Right. No, Nobody I mean, puts their, their, like, I talk about my struggles, but a lot of people don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's one big thing a lot of people don't talk about. You know what I'm saying? So, this, that's, that's this why, highlights people's life, man. That's why when I come out with my YouTube, I want to show people, like, show people vulnerability and kind of show people 100%. go to therapy. You know, ain't nothing wrong, nothing wrong with therapy. therapy. Ain't nothing wrong with going to therapy. A lot of a lot of people need therapy. Let me tell you something I've never told, I haven't even told you yet, or the G-Squad. And I've told y'all this, that I'm ADHD, I grew up, you know, I, ever since I was six years old, I was diagnosed with ADHD, right? Anybody who knows statistically the stuff that with ADHD people is like, you're off medication, you're more acceptable to like going into a life of crime, drugs, all that stuff, in which I've done it all. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just a little weed, I ain't tumble no crack and no crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I grew up in that, you know what I'm saying? My family grew up in the mix, all that. But the crazy part is, is through all of that, you know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of ups, there's going to be a lot of downs. And since I was six years old and I was diagnosed with it, I had uh, that medication given to me, which I still take to this day. Um, I had to see a lot of psychiatrists. I had to do a lot of therapy. Hell, I even got anger management when I was in prison. I got the certificate still, brother. I'm kind of proud of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So ain't nothing wrong with no therapy. You know what I mean? But I think in the world in which we grow, we kind of just taught to suck it up yeah, and just not father, talk about it. My father was a is an older man, and I was raised around older men, so therapy was kind of like looked at as therapy that's a waste of money on it you know what i'm saying it's it's not a real thing just suck up yeah tough. snap out of it even today I, I still have a tough mentality but uh i'm still pushing the awareness thing because I, I i see firsthand what it could lead to not saying that mental health is a reason why you should act out and kill people but we're gonna go up here we're gonna talk to these kids man and you know hopefully we can you know, prevent some of these kids in this situation right now from becoming what I had to become, a statistic. You know what I mean? So hopefully we can prevent that, man. Anything else you want to tell them, brother? Stay tuned. We, we, we almost there, so um, I ain't got too much to say. I'm not really too much of a talking of guy, more of an action type guy. For sure. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We just left the school. My guy, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Shaw with the motherfucking shibbity shibbity shibbity, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's his Bronco right there, man. That's what you seen in the thumbnail. Legendary truck, comment below right now and let me know. Do y'all want to see a review with the Bronco and his Mustang? Or do you want to see the Bronco or just the Mustang? Comment below, let me know. What you think, brother? Four guys out here trying to convert them. He's trying, but it ain't Five working, brother. Up. Yeah. I do. I've always loved the Broncos, that's all, though. That's all you need. Shout out to my dog Greg Jenkins. Every time I look at it, I think of his Bronco. Tell Greg he got to come see me with this Bronco. He has to, huh? Shaq got to come see me. Oh yeah, I need Shaq in one of my videos. Yeah, for sure. Shaq, we're gonna see if can get, we can get Shaq to come down with his Bronco. Well, and you know he with the hell. He got a Hellcat too, a Challenger. Yeah, he got, he got, he got all that. But he got a chicken shop here in Nashville. Oh, he's about to open up, and uh, he need to bring his Bronco down, and you know we can chat over some chicken. Hundred percent. You know. <laughs> Tell tall guy to come back down. Oh, mandatory. Definitely. Yeah, we thinking about me and Jay thinking about going to Miami. Yeah, what you think about that? I'm with it, brother. Come on, I'm with Before it, brother. Come on, brother. Hey, oh. <laughs> that sounds like some legendary content, brother. Definitely. I'm gonna need we're that. We're gonna try to holler at Wade, and we're gonna try to holler at D Wade. And see. Oh, we gotta get D Wade now. D Wade rock yeah. with the whips. Yeah. I yeah. see him in Sunby and Aurora and all that. Every yeah, I be seen him. <laughs> yeah, he living his best life. It's a blessed life. Imagine being 16, 17 years old. In a Rory. Ferrari. What? Don't he got red guts in there too, don't he? Right. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Yup. Yeah, I know that boy be feeling on top of the world. Right. Only only, only kid is probably feeling that same way as Bright Diddy kids. Right. Or somebody of that caliber. Yeah, I ain't there yet, so I got to get old school. Yeah. Old Bronco. Hey, brother. That, that's a, 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 a astronomical feat right there, brother. Yeah. That, that's nothing short of legendary. Yeah, take, take a little while to get to that state, but you know. It's almost there. Yeah, 100%. It's, it's, interior. it's a work in progress. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we got to review that. Just off the strength of Greg just got that same Bronco. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. <laughs> Tell them about what happened, though, when you yeah. went to search for Bronco videos. You know, well, I was, when I was originally searching for uh, Bronco videos and kind of how I got to eventually following and subscribing to uh, Tall Guy Car Reviews, I typed in Bronco on Google and it popped up. <laughs> and I saw him 
tall guy, Corey. Yeah. And I saw Greg Jennings. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world because I was looking at how I should do my, how I should do the Bronco. And I texted him. I texted him. I screenshot him. I showed him. Showed him. Yeah, he did. It was just hilarious. So, it was funny as hell. Yeah, definitely. Definitely didn't know he had already did a, a car review on it, but yeah. But that right there gives you, lets you know like what you're aiming for with the Bronco. Definitely. Greg shit was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody go subscribe to my dog Greg's uh, YouTube channel, man, because <laughs> he got a crazy Bronco. We did a video on it, man, yeah. and it's a must see. You have to see it. Go support him, legendary yeah. guy, man. Doing some legendary it's things. A short and so is he. My, now look, I want y'all know I'm six two. I'm not short. It's just this a little high, y'all. Thirty seven inches. Yeah. You see the thumbnail picture now? Right. It look like, a, like, a, look like an ant next to that thing. That thing. Tell, show them yourself getting there. You got to get those automatic step ladders, though. Right. You got those, brother. I know you got to I'm trying to get a bag like Greg. Look. Me personally. Now, this is me. So right. Imagine, you know. <laughs> yeah, watch this. 6'2 now. <laughs> <laughs> you got them tires spoken out, too. Yeah. Just yeah. slightly. Just like, I don't, I don't like them all the way out. That's a little too. Yeah, I got mine full uh, white man mode. I got mine fully bursting out the side. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Full all the way out. Yeah. Negative 44 offset or something crazy like that. Ooh, but I, tell them we got a video coming with this and the yeah, Mustang that, and all that's to come. Boss like 302, you know. That, 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 that 302 is where you want to be at. 100%. Yeah. We have fun with the kids too, man. I appreciate Definitely. you too, man. No problem. That was that's dope, what man. it's really about. Absolutely. This is just like a, a cherry on top messing with the cars, and we got this in common. But them kids, is that's that's something. That's where it's all about. We went to Hillwood School today, talked to some mostly seniors, um, sophomores, high school students. Um, they haven't been making some of the greatest decisions, so we wanted to go out. And Corey Shaw shared his story about um, his past and what he went through, and he really went into detail with everything that he went through. Uh, really appreciate and respect him for that. And uh, some of the kids, know we definitely changed some of those kids' lives looking at them. Absolutely. Them, taking earphones out, uh, ear pods and cutting phones off. Out their hand and putting their phone down and just focusing on what he was saying and then me kind of piggybacking on that and, and trying to get them to, you know, go to therapy and, and, and talk to people for their support systems and things of that nature. I'm not sure if, how he's going to cut this to make sure Y'all know who I am or why the relevance. Because this is one long ass video. Right. But uh, trust me, if, 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 he, if he shows you kind of what happened and the reason I have some notoriety now, you'll, you'll kind of understand, I think. And uh, hopefully, you know, when I come out with my YouTube channel, you'll subscribe to it. And hopefully I can bring you some of substance and, you know, hopefully you'll, you know, respect what I'm trying to do. But definitely want to thank Corey for coming out. For sure, bro. Y'all see the car review. In the future, probably like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you tell Appreciate work. you, bro. You damn right. Go <laughs> subscribe to him when he gets his channel, man. Bam, with the snap of the finger. Big, right. big Houdini. Right. See you on the next video, man.